Hello again, and welcome back. We're gonna get down to business with Oppa 649 Stone Brick Castle. It's a 3 out of 5 level, so it's uh, medium difficulty. I don't think this one's too bad. It's in the style of Super Mario World, which is always, always a good thing. And we'll start off with a few thwomps. There's nothing to really worry about here. Just take your time with it. You'll get through it a-okay. And if you're not playing, then fine. I'll get through it a-okay. How's that? Ah, no, no, no. Bad. I don't like those. Those saw blades have not been working to my benefit at all in this game. I bet that's going to be fun later. Whoa, whoa. Potaboo up the ass almost. All right, now, anyway, ah. Okay, there should be a secret in... Damn it. All right, well, anyway, I had another screw-up off camera. Um, there's not a secret there. So how do I know there's a secret in the lava then? Well, I watched Desmo 360's uh, Let's Play. And it's apparently right here. And it's a very rewarding secret, too. Maybe the most creative secret in the game. I mean, who'd think to jump into a pit in lava, right? And it's also one of the most rewarding. I can dig it. Might be the best secret just because it's so obtuse. But for some, that's not a good thing. For some, that's a bad thing. I don't know how that works, but checkpoint. And now that we have the hammer suit. It pains me to be broken, but I'll... Look at all the swamps dying. The skull rafts didn't move like they're supposed to. It's not right, man. It's not right. Anyway, I want to go up there and get a secret. That's not going up there and getting a secret. Let's reposition us. That's not repeat! This is an assassin's shit! <sighs> I'm degenerating into gibberish. Let's try that again. Since the checkpoint wasn't too far from where we died. <sighs> we don't get to be cheap anymore. It's tearing me apart, Lisa! Look at that bullshit, though. The, the rafts don't move like they're supposed to. It's not how this works, man. <sighs> Your level. I wanted the green springboard. I guess I'm not getting that one up. Just move onward. Wait a minute. Then why was there a green springboard? <sighs> Don't question it, we're getting the one up. Although I now have 57 lives like I needed it. But lives are a good thing. You never know. I always got a plan for the worst. And get an ice flower. Oh, uh, these skull rafts will work. And so will these. I guess it's just the one. Still really odd, though. Don't like it. Let's put the end of the rod. Ah, oh, that's satisfying. Getting rid of a few potaboos and thwomp. Get rid of some creepy skeletons, and we're already at the boss door. Okay. Well... Let me intrigue you with this thought. Suppose I was small Mario and suppose I jumped over that mushroom. I could have gotten stuck if you think. Unless he made it to where you could go back to the door. If not, then game break. But I really don't want to find out because I just got through this level. And um, I don't know what to say about this guy. Most creative boss in the game, I'll give him that, but... I hope you've caught on to the strategy. It's move forward and um, don't stop. Only stop if you're about to touch the far lava. The only area where this is challenging is right here, where it gets very up. It gets very mean with the potaboos, but eh, if you take your time and go through it, you'll do fine. Huh? Come on, move. The good news is the shell responds. Hit it. I said hit it. You're supposed to work when I hit you. <sighs> this game. That 
level in particular. Anyway, we're done with Stone Brick Castle. It's a good level. Just a few minor things. Nothing that ruins it. Oh, Tabo time! We've got Underground Fortress and Overgrown Obelisk. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, four out of five. That's gonna be fun. Double checking to make sure I read right. And we get to start with the sliding section, because oh, Tabo knows his stuff. That's fun. And I'm glad the whole level isn't that. Beyond that, though, it's just moving platforms. It's a generic uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 dungeon, and there's nothing wrong with that. I have no problem with that all. It's well laid out, too. But enough rambling about the design. Let's get a secret. Let's get coins so I can get another life. Because 59 lives is not enough. I must have as many as possible. Uh, and I'm not going to get them all, I don't think. But I cleared out that top roll. Roll. Row. I don't know why I said roll. Top row. And that's got to count for something, right? And we're going to kill you because I don't like you. You spit fire and that kind of hurts. And I don't want that leaf. I'll keep my ass flower. I don't think so. Alright. Let's go past the thwomp. He's no threat to us. Another grinder, dodge him. Saw blade grinder, whatever you want to call them. Grab the dragon coin. That says 8,000. That means we've collected four of those, and we're already at the checkpoint. This level's pretty much done. I guess I'll get the leaf since you insist. And. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't want to get crushed to death. That'd be just a humiliating way of dying. I already have enough humiliating deaths in this playthrough of the game already. Don't need any more. Mm hmm. Ah, this room's good. Check it out. See this shell? Some Mac. It'll kill all the Gloombas, Gloombas, and it'll clear the way to the star. Now, the problem with that in the initial release of this level, the shell did not regenerate, so if you spin jumped on it, you'd be stuck. I informed Otabo, and he fixed it immediately. Very good level. Now here's Overgrown Obelisk, and this level went through multiple revisions until we finally got it right. And it looks good, too. And I'll only get one of the Fire Flowers. I first two power-ups at the beginning. Very generous. Doesn't really live up to a kind of a four out of five difficulty with that. Unless we're going to get, like, spammed with projectiles. And uh, this stage isn't too bad. Uh, the money moles are the main source of aggravation here. Well, no, they're your main enemy source of aggravation. The real source of aggravation is this, having to do this switch to save. Shit. I screwed that up. The real source of aggravation is doing these switches over and over, because that's the whole level. Hit a switch, progress. It's the one thing that I don't like about this level. Otherwise, it plays pretty decent. Get out of my face, dude. Okay. At new. Bad. Bod. And we'll go up here and get a one-up from this alcove. See? See? Well, Tabo knows what he's doing. Yeah, get, get up, get away. And Monty Mole knows uh, what he's doing, too. Anyway, there's a secret down in the water, and I don't feel like going for a swim. But basically, you can hear Super Mario Brothers 1 music in 8-bit, so... <laughs> and you're collecting coins, that's all it is. We're not missing much. So we'll progress forward. <sighs> Nearly getting hit in the process. Huh. Thought there's a secret there for some reason. My memory's crap, ignore it. Anyway, we'll kill these guys. And we'll move on forward. <sighs> this I don't like this right here. Okay, I don't like screwing up either. Let me run off screen and get it to reset where it belongs, the propeller block. Anyway, this part coming up, we're going to run up here just so we can hit a P-switch. Not P-switch, P-block, whatever it is. P-switch. I'll talk about it before it even shows up on the screen. I'm doing great. Okay. Anyway, the whole point of P-switch is, right, you hit them and you collect coins, right? But it also clears pathways. Well... You barely collect any coins at all, if any. It just... 
Go forward and clear the pathway. Translation, it was put there to be filler. Disappointing. But hey, at least it's a good level in terms of design. It's just I find that to be kind of pointless though. And we get another switch to hit. Let me check if I have to hit that one. Oh, and uh, those uh, smiling flowers. There are the dragon coins of this level. I've not been collecting them in case you haven't noticed because I've just been doing the level. Way forward. Uh, get past a small cluster of enemies. Love the Yoshi's Island enemies. Ow! Okay, that's not good. Anyway, the ending's right there. No! No! Damn it! No! I'm not dying again. That was bullshit. I mean, I'm... <sighs> I mean, look at that! That was easy! How did I die there? I was right at it! Oh. Add that to the embarrassing death list. Well, that's this video, I guess. We'll give you a preview of the final floor. So you know what we're in store for. We have Master of Mayhem, Mini Tales. If I run to the left, we have this awesome dude named Dark Lord Kanor, you may know him. He's me and Saramim. And upstairs, the individual responsible for this mess is Riri. But we have to beat all the levels to beat his, because his is the final. So I suppose we'll call it quits here, and we'll continue some other time. Until then, take care and enjoy.